welcome back to this latest installment of the Black Hat Executive Video Series. I'm Terry Sweeney, I'm a contributing editor with Black Hat, and I'm delighted to be joined today by Phil Montgomery, VP of Product for FireEye. Phil, thanks so much for joining us today. Thanks so much for having me here, Terry. Um, smart security vendors typically engage in some sort of process of continuous improvement. Um, FireEye refers to this as the, the innovation cycle. Let's start by talking a bit about how this distinguishes FireEye and what it means for your products and services. That's a great place to start, Terry. And one of the things that differentiates FireEye is that we don't just have technology, we have expertise. We have almost 700 people in the field. We have our Mandiant consultants that are in all the breaches that matter, that are understanding what the attackers are out doing. We have our services, we have our managed defense, we have our threat intelligence. You know, they're in the community, they're understanding what these people are doing. So those are the three core elements of our solution set. Now, the innovation cycle links all of those together. So we take the knowledge that we learn in the field when we're in the breaches, when we're looking into the intelligence community, you know, we're seeing what's going on and we're, we understand more about the bad actors than anybody else. We're in the breaches, we're in the trenches fighting every day. We take that knowledge and we integrate that knowledge very, very quickly into our products. If we see a new threat, we're able to adapt, we're able to insert that into our product very quickly, but then the people in the field also use our products in the incident response, they use our intelligence. So all of this is a self-sustaining cycle that really lets us adapt very quickly, and the net result is that our customers are gonna get that protection very quickly as well. It sounds super iterative as well. Absolutely, it's, it's continually going around in a circle, making itself better. You guys now have more than a decade of data on attacks, bad actors, yes. all kinds of malware. Yeah, absolutely. Um, what emerging trends um, are you seeing on the radar that maybe weren't there, say, 12 to 18 months ago? Yeah, as you said, it's important that FireEye has this you know, 10 years plus threat database. You know, we understand what's gone in the past, we see what's going on in the future. And we've just recently published our latest email threat report. You know, email continues to be the, the biggest threat vector so out key. there. Yeah, and, and there's so many different types of threat actors out there now. There's, you know, your nation state attackers, there's the financially motivated attackers, you know, there's the, you know, hacktivists and so on. And they're all adapting very, very quickly. But one thing that's stayed the same is that email is still the number one threat vector. You know, I'd encourage everybody to download that threat report. But one of the things is that we're seeing more uh, spoofing of trusted names like, you know, Amazon, like Microsoft. You know, we're seeing more use of encryption inside the network, more use of SSL to try to hide what's going on, and, and even more use of file sharing sites like you know, OneDrive and Dropbox to, you know, to host the, the malware. You know, I, I think the upshot is you know, you've got to focus on email, you've got to protect, you've got to be up to date, and you've got to help your users understand that if something gets through, that they've got to be able to identify you know, what is a bad looking email. All it takes out of an organization of 10,000 people is just one just person one, to click on that absolutely. email and the whole organization can be compromised. Right. Uh, um, one piece of identifying these malicious trends is, is analytics, um, software and statistical analysis that identifies patterns or commonalities. Um, using analytics proactively and defensively obviously makes great sense in cybersecurity. Um, I'm wondering how else you see analytics expanding its footprint in the security operations center. Yeah, we're definitely seeing you know increased use of analytics you know in, in the security operations center, and, and of course analytics and data is a key part of our Helix security operations center. One thing that we'd caution people is when you're looking at analytics is that you really need to understand what the attackers are doing. You need to understand the tools, the techniques, the procedures. You need to have that data. You need to have the threat database. You need to be able to look at the analytics and you, you don't want a lot of false positives. You don't want any false positives. You don't want to be wading through them. Right. So you know these systems are only as good as the intelligence that you have on the attackers. That's what we'd encourage people to think about when they look at analytics. And I think in a similar way, artificial intelligence and machine learning, they're really the, the term du jour in the cybersecurity industry. We see it mentioned out there. You know, machine learning is a tool. It's a very, very important tool, but you have to see the machine learning system uh, with data. And as you mentioned before, we have over 10 years of threat database. You know, we're seeing what's going on in the field today. We're seeing new threats. So we're able to continually look at our machine learning system, which is called MalwareGuard and was initially launched in our endpoint solution, 
but is now in all of our solutions, yeah, we're able to, to take that and make sure that the model is continually adjusted so we get no false positives and we get more detection of unknown threats. Switching gears slightly, in May of 2019, FireEye acquired Veriden, mm -hmm. best known for its security instrumentation products. Um, how do you envision Veriden complementing FireEye's own portfolio of enterprise security products? Yeah, we're super excited about the Veriden acquisition. And, uh, you know, in fact, at Black Hat, Veriden has a, a booth separate to the main FireEye booth because we think it's important to really get the message across and really amplify, you know, the acquisition. We're so excited about it. Mm -hmm. um, and what Veriden really does is have a platform that is going to continuously test and measure and report on your cybersecurity effectiveness. When you think about it, the problem that we're trying to solve here is that we spend an awful lot of money, we work with multiple vendors, you know, we have you know, 50, 60, 100 different security products all working together. And it's very difficult ensuring that they're configured the right way, that they're all doing the right thing. I mean, even getting the ROI out of it. And you know, even with FireEye, you know, we have our network, we have our endpoint, we have our email solutions, just like any other companies, and we have other pieces in the ecosystem. What Veriden will let us do is that we'll be continually testing, you know, continually reporting on the effectiveness, but firing off real-world threats. So basically, Veriden will replay real-world threats, and we'll be able to understand, you know, the state of our cybersecurity effectiveness. Let's dig in a little bit more there. Um, Testing and measurement are obviously essential basics of, of security management. Um, how does the addition of advanced test and measurement capabilities improve an organization's security posture? So Veriden's built the industry's only security instrumentation platform. They built it from the ground up to be able to replay real world attacks against your entire security ecosystem. So you can understand, is it things configured the right way? You know, are they working effectively? Am I getting the ROI out of it? It is really unique in the way that it approaches it. You know, it's independent of vendor. You know, it'll replay real world attacks. So it sounds like what we're talking about here are lots of different sets of expertise. Um, talk a bit about how customers can take more full advantage of that. That's a great question. I mean, customers can always, you know, buy our services, our mandated expertise, our training courses like they have traditionally. But this year we introduced something that we're super excited about, which is our expertise on demand. So think of expertise on demand as a set of microservices that makes it really easy to consume all of our expertise and intelligence. Uh, you could buy just a single intelligence report. If you have a piece of malware and you're not sure whether it's malware, you could ask a uh, Mandiant person, is this malware? You know, we've made it really easy to consume. It's very economical to get into. You can add more units and you can use your units to buy you know, red teaming courses or compromise assessments. As I said, ask an analyst. And you're going to see this integrated more tightly into our Helix security operations platform. Curious about your, your plans for Black Hat. What, what might our viewers expect from FireEye there? We're, we're super excited about Black Hat because we're, we're going to change the mold of, of the normal uh, Black Hat booth experience. Uh, we're not going to have marketing people doing the normal demos and talking to you. Really, we want to be known for the expertise, for the intelligence, you know, for everything that we bring to the cybersecurity industry as well as our leading products. So we're calling our booth experience FireEye Unplugged where you'll be able to sit down, you'll be able to talk to the actual people that are in the front lines, to talk to our intelligence analysts, to really understand what's going out there in the real world. Great, it sounds like a great acoustic set. You know what, it absolutely does. It, you know, we're bringing the band back together. So th that's actually a good analogy for FireEye because we have all of these pieces working together like, like in a band. Thanks so much for joining us Thanks, today. Thanks, Terry. We've been talking with Phil Montgomery, VP of Product for FireEye. This has been Terry Sweeney for Black Hat. Thanks for joining us.